Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Piathlon. In today's video, I will be explaining why you shouldn't care about the price of a cryptocurrency. Before you start leaving angry comments in the comment section, be sure to watch the entire video so that you can fully understand what I mean. Before I can explain my point, I have to tell you a brief story. I was discussing crypto with someone who's interested in investing in cryptocurrencies. He mentioned to me that he wanted to buy a coin simply because it costs about $1. His reasoning was that if the coin is $1 now, if it increases in value to be as much as the more popular coins such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, then he will be very rich. He assumed he was getting in on the ground floor simply because the coin was inexpensive. Did you catch his mistake? It's a mistake that a lot of people who don't know anything about cryptocurrencies are making. His error was that in assuming the coin was undervalued simply because it cost about a dollar. He did not account for the number of coins in circulation. What matters about a cryptocurrency is not the price per coin, but the price per coin multiplied by the number of coins in circulation. The price per coin multiplied by the number of coins in circulation is called the market capitalization, which we'll refer to as market cap for short. Let's look at an example of this. Let's say I was thinking about investing in two different cryptocurrencies. We'll call them coin A and coin B. Coin A costs $1 per coin and coin B costs $10 per coin. Someone who does not know what they're talking about may consider coin A the cheaper coin. I hope by this point in the video you understand this concept. Let's continue our example. Let's say coin A has 200 coins in circulation and coin B only has 10. The market cap of coin A is 1 times 200, which is $200, and the market cap of coin B is 10 times 10, which is $100. Does a higher market cap mean you should invest in that coin? Not necessarily. Does a lower market cap mean you should invest in the coin then? Not necessarily. There is way more that you should consider in your investment decision than the market cap of the coin. Both high and low market cap coins have their advantages and disadvantages. High market caps typically tell you that a coin is established or people have faith in that coin. It could also be that a bunch of people randomly decided to bid up the price of that coin, but that's not what this video is about. A potential downside of a high market cap is that the crypto might not have as much room to grow, so it may grow at a slower rate than the coin with a smaller market cap. One of the benefits of a smaller market capitalization is that if you can choose a winner, that coin may have a lot of room to grow and you may have a lot of profits resulting from that. However, choosing a winner is very difficult and coins with small market caps may not have the staying power of a more established coin. They may be here today and gone tomorrow or quickly fall out of favor with the market. Another important concept we need to discuss is circulating supply. That is the amount of that cryptocurrency that is currently available. Some coins have a limit on their supply, while others may not. The reason why some coins have a limit is to use scarcity to put upward pressure on the price of a coin. If you are not familiar with the term scarcity, it is a term in economics that essentially means limited supply. Scarcity is one factor that makes something valuable. For example, there is a maximum supply of 21 million Bitcoin and the circulating supply is just under 19 million at the time of recording. This is one of the many differences between cryptocurrencies and government issued fiat currencies. When the government wants to print money, the Treasury Department can print as much money as they want. This printing of money can potentially lead the purchasing power of that currency to decrease. This is an advantage of cryptocurrencies that have a cap on their supply. The max number of coins is written in the immutable code that ensures the number remains constant. What all of this really means is that you should not just look at the price of a cryptocurrency when deciding whether or not to buy it. You need to at least look at the market cap, the circulating supply, and the maximum supply if there is one. Remember, not all coins have a maximum supply. This concludes today's video. I hope you found it very informative. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a favorite story about someone who is new to crypto, then leave that story in the comments for others to learn from or simply laugh at. I would recommend you subscribe to our YouTube page and click that notification bell so you never miss an upload. We also have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow at Piathlon. 
And please visit us at playathlon.com. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.